Today, we're gonna make Steve's Rum Barrel. And by we're gonna make, you mean I'm gonna make. And I'm gonna drink. <laughs> and, and, and it's a good symbiosis. 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 There's a lot of syllables in there. Roads. <laughs> yes. Someone will get that joke. Welcome to Con Man Cocktails. Ian and Derek are gonna make for you Steve's Rum Barrel. Why don't they call this the kitchen sink cocktail? Because there's 50 freaking things in here. This is not the first rum barrel we've done. We've never done Steve's. Okay. But all rum barrels tend to be like this. What did we do? Just the rum barrel. I think from them. Mm, I think it's the same place, actually. Um, this is from Beach Bum Berries Remixed. So, the history's in here, but I think I put it at the bottom. But if I do that, I might blow, blow Ian's mind. So, typical to tiki drinks. It's very juice heavy. 1960s. Got a ton of boobies. Correct. Steve Crane, Con Tiki Chain, 1961. Uh, our executive producer is Erin Bila. She joined 16 months ago. She was our last member who clicked the join button. 16, 16 freaking months. months ago. That's the last time somebody's ever given me any cash outside of AustinDrinks.com where you can buy some syrups and wow. stuff. Yeah. Right. Because right. of inflation. It's 8.6. Putin's price hike, man. Tell us. <laughs> <laughs> Damn bastard wants us all to suffer the, for Mother Russia. Yes. <laughs> and because of those those gas prices, my Hamilton Beach is going to cost us extra tonight, but it's okay. I'm willing to put the Because the electricity costs? Yeah. yeah. We're, so we're the, still dry from fossil fuels, Major. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So the cocktail, I am going to break it down for you. I'm going to tell you the ingredients in three quarter ounce increments, at least for a little bit. So it's three quarter ounce of fresh lime juice, three quarter ounce of orange juice, freshly squeezed by Derek, three quarters ounce of grapefruit juice, also freshly squeezed, but a while back, uh, three quarters ounce of unsweetened so pineapple juice, less fresh squeezed. than freshly. Yeah. Well, frozen because that's how I roll, because I don't like it just to go bad. A half ounce of passion fruit syrup, a half ounce of honey mix, which I'm using BG Reynolds honey mix available at ostrichs.com, I think. So, so he's caught up to me at this point, and I'm still. Oh, here. yes. Um, two ounces of dark Jamaican rum. For that, I'm going to use Smith, Smith and Cross. Cross. Um, two ounces of uh, white Puerto Rican rum. So I went with the standard Bacardi because it's a good product. It's also white and it's also from Puerto Rico. As much as you used to hate to say so, but after a repeatedly winning blind taste <laughs> test on the show in a large field, then I'm, yeah. you kind of got to go with it, right? I'm still, I'm still dis disappointed. But yes, and, and if you want to, you can also use Havana Club Trace Años if you mm. can get it in your country. It's harder to get here in the U.S. Because it's pretty uh, cool. It's got some funk to it, which is nice. Yes. Six drops of Pernod. Drops. Six drops. Gotcha. Um, three, three drops of almond extract I bought specifically for this. Four ounces of crushed ice or give or take or whatever you want. Um, this can be blended. I'm going to use the immersion blender for all of the drinks this month because it's Tiki Month. Everything's tiki. I might even make next month tiki month because I just enjoy it. Tiki's good. It takes a little bit of time, but I can talk a lot and you're still trying to figure out how to build it. Smell that stuff. What's the smell like? You don't have to put it in your mouth. It does, right? Yeah. Well, almonds, go figure, right? Yeah. We need like a drop. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna do the straw thing. You can use one of these cops. That's good. Like samplers. Oh, well, that's a good idea. Is that, that's, you have to do how many drops of those? Three? Yeah, those those sometimes have a dasher, but. Not this one. Not the case. It smells like amaretto, like mm. big time. Oh, I'm, I'm the rest came out of my hand. Perfect, you're oh. gonna smell like amaretto. Just don't don't go driving. Because uh, you're gonna be like, what have you been drinking, and sir? I'll, and I'll say nothing. And they'll say, we don't believe you. And I'm like, well, you're a riddle liner. <laughs> well, <that's> <laughs> Just don't give me a field sobriety <laughs> test because I can't walk. <laughs> <laughs> Why did he I fail? Because I climbed, I climbed a mountain. Go with something more move. technical with me today, please. Yes. Yes, ask me my alphabet backwards. Wait a minute. That's also bad. That was one. I saw it fall in there. Yeah, I don't know if it was a full one. Okay. Well, that was six. <laughs> <laughs> we did this once with the zombie, right? I know. <laughs> it's hard to get drops accurate, right? I know. Well, it is because you have to lift your finger off the straw, which then creates air. Right. Which and then makes it more than a drop. Yeah. So you're, you're gonna be able to get down there and bang that out? Oh, I gotta get down there, that's right. <laughs> yeah, um, it's already way. kind of broken a little bit, so it could yeah, be okay. I appreciate that. Uh, <laughs> Where is <laughs> Das Hama? Down here. Um, you could probably just put regular ice in here and then the crushed ice will put in here. Okay. Because that would be better. 
Then. I need a stick and hammer. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah, so this drink, put everything in this immersion blender. You can put it in a regular blender. So here's the crushed ice in there, and we'll do. Yeah. Okay. So here's the problem I have with immersion blenders. I mean, uh, regular blenders is they tend to really break up your ice and it gets super crushed and then it, it dilutes really fast. So your drink ends up tasting a little bit like water oh, after there, we, go up, we go up there, right? No. Uh, this one you can, you sh mm, you're gonna have to hold it. Okay. Because that's not the right. Is there a shotgun? No. no. Ah! Yeah, Put it on slow. Is there a slow? There's the other one. <laughs> Oh, no, that was slow. That was slow. All right, let me do this. Next time we could use this one. Oh, I thought we were in there. Yeah, let's use that we one. We can push it in there now. Oh, too late. I've gotten past the splash point. <laughs> so no, oh, here's the other thing. You turn it on once it's already immersed. All right. <laughs> yeah. I, I use this a lot. <laughs> so we just, we're just doing this to mix it, right? Yeah. Okay, and since we put ice in there, we'll strain. Yeah, because blending things, you end up with like, t it's so watered down and so cold. So I would just throw the crushed ice in there. Are you looking for? Strain that, huh? Hey, sir. Dan will be here later if that's the friend you're talking about. If it's not, then the, what are you talking about? The, yeah, Dan will be here in uh, zero minutes. Dan should already be here. Whoa. Hold on. You got a straw? I can poke it through because it's clear on the bottom. Which means. <laughs> what kind of straw you want? You want a glass? I want a long straw. I don't care. That'll That's work. That's really long. Done. Asking <laughs> they shall receive. There we go. Now it's fully integrated. It's pretty big, but. Aloha to Germany. Aloha to Germany. Does that look good on there? Yeah. Uh oh. Way to produce. <laughs> Our technical talent, ladies Glad and gentlemen. Yeah, that looks good. Now, so so am I, uh, and I, I am to assume that I have to describe the flavors to you because you're not drinking? I'm not drinking right or now. Or did, yeah. you, did you already lick the, the extract and know what it tastes like? No, I smell the extract. I smell this and I can guess that it probably tastes like heaven in a glass, but <laughs> I'll let you decide. Well. Is it pretty heavy? No, it's good. just strong. Well, but yeah. I haven't had anything else to drink. I took that much in one sip, so it was a little... So that's like a half ounce of booze, because there's four yeah. ounces of booze in there. It's not too sweet. It doesn't have too much juice in it, which is good. I can taste honey. It's got a lot of juices, but it's smaller quantities. So like that's true. three ounces of juice, maybe. No, there's more than that, right? Because isn't there like an... Oh, no, this is a different drink I'm thinking of. Oh, three, um, four ounces. Uh, three ounces, and then you got the syrups. But you have four ounces of alcohol Yeah. in one serving, which is the way we typically roll. But right. it's sour. It's got a little bit of bitterness to it. And there is a little Pernod numbing. Good. If that counts for yeah. anything. Right, is there more? Does. We need yeah, more. more. Oh, I'm going to like finish this. this thing off. Jen likes tea, I think. I do. Yeah, you got to try it too. It does. <laughs> it does. Oh. Can confirm. <laughs> do I want to take this out to rinse it? Case. Yeah, you can do that. How do that well. Pull. Straight down. Ooh, like a, there we go. Like a oh. barbarian. Like a man There's a lot said. going on in there. Yeah, it's got bitter. Jen, be my mouth. Tart. Yeah. What orange. Bitter. Orange. Pernod, a little bit of black licorice. You get a funkiness from either the rum or just the total of all of the things. I do get what I taste. It seems like it's honey, but it could just be rum. Yeah, I don't get honey. Yeah, definitely. Rum. I get a tail finish of honey, which I think is nice, and that's weird because I don't think there's that much honey in here. Half, half ounce. ounce. Is there honey in there? Yeah. Half ounce. Half, half ounce. So for, be a quarter for this, ounce honey, right? that's your honey. That's not on camera. Is that on camera? No. Um, so BG Reynolds has a honey mix. You can purchase that, I think, from us. this if you want to. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. If I can get that. Uh, I think God I still have some of those. Stuff. <laughs> the other alternative, if you're like, Derek, what is honey mix? It's water and cut honey. with honey. Because yeah. honey's thick. And to work right. with it, yeah, you, Ian, he hates right. you can work with this because it's super watery. So usually if you got to work with honey, you got to water it down so you can mix yeah. it and you can actually start measuring yeah. without it sticking. Which, to it just sticks, yeah, to the yeah, yeah, you just set it up in your shaker. <laughs> and if you do it that way, the 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 part, the only real issue is it can be time consuming when you're building drinks like this. These things are a little faster. So if you're Maybe, if you yeah. know you're gonna bring this, this is a drink I probably wouldn't bring to the pool because right. it just takes too long. 
right. You could make your own well, honey syrup. There's a lot of alcohol in there. You could mix your juices ahead of that, make your alcohols ahead of yeah. that. If you want to do the pre-work, you can probably make yeah. it for the pool Batch and it. make it a lot simpler. Yeah. I would bring all of the stuff pre-mixed except for the alcohol. No. I, I would bring it all. Yeah, you could even all mix the All the pre-mixed, take the ice secondary, bring the ice, put it inside the punch bowl or whatever. That way it doesn't dilute down too much. Yeah. Store it. And then you're good to go. You're not going to, like, a lot of times I don't like to do that with lime juice because you could lose the tartness. There's a lot going on here. Yeah. I don't think that's going to be an issue. You know what it could be? It could be this. I don't know. I, I get a funkiness out of this that there I don't is, get a from most other drinks. Yeah. I think it's the um, it could be that. Is it the Smith and Cross? Because it could it's be got the Smith and Cross. Cross. Smith and Cross is that has yeah. your classic. It's got that cool caramelly yeah. like. Yeah, yeah. Funk. It's that. Yeah. Uh, I like it. So if you it, it, this calls for a dark Jamaican. So if you use the other black, like that really dark Jamaican, I, that Gosling's. Yeah, um, I don't think Gosling's is Jamaican. No, the Myers is. Myers. Myers. Is, yeah, yeah. That, that's that right. one will yeah. probably be. That's the one I was thinking here. about, but I said the wrong yeah. one. Oh. Yeah, that would that would darken this up a lot more, and I think it would kind of t- distract a little bit. It's a little aggressive. Yeah. That's less aggressive, but still pronounced because you definitely. I mean, that is the the case here. If you don't have a Jamaican rum, you could use Appleton or something lighter. Hmm. Uh, but I'd keep the Jamaican to keep the funkiness in here because the tiki is supposed to have that little bit of a funk. Uh, otherwise, they wouldn't use Jamaican. And there's no mistake, and there's alcohol in that drink. Yeah, <laughs> it's not a fruity drink. And you give it back, Jen. <laughs> yeah, well, I, what? I, you need to do a lead-in and everything, and oh, I'll shit. take it okay. back. Okay, I'll take it back. Um, this, Jenny. this, and this is a, I, I put them in a tiki glass. If you have them, this is uh, a specific one. This is called, I believe, we call this the OG. You sell them um, at Awesome Drinks. I sell the better ones in this. So oh, <laughs> this is like years ago. Oh, I found this. Okay. Um, I found this at a distributor who charged me a lot more than I get now for mm. buying them from the actual glass blower, but I didn't know, like, I didn't know who it was. And then years later, I found the glass blower, and I wasn't even looking for these. Mm. I was looking to have a custom glass built, which I never ended up doing. And I saw in his portfolio that glass, and I was like, holy shit, this is the guy that makes that glass. So he now he makes them, but he doesn't do them clear. He, I, there's different colors. So like I do, frosted and stuff. They're like colored red. Oh, okay. Like yeah. fully. Like uh, opaque. Fully opaque. Yeah, like uh, a red and off color uh, thing. I'll show or you. Or like, like a sunset. Like it goes to red to orange to yeah. like yellow type thing. So they're... they're Sunbursty. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're much cooler. In guitar parlance. Yeah. Um, they're cooler than what I have here. I just, I've never taken any out of inventory because... Oh, I really should. My point is you sell tiki glasses, right? <laughs> yeah. I sell tiki glasses. The point glasses. was you can get something like that. But yeah. the tiki glass that I sell is actually better than this. And this year I'm carrying my website right way too slow. Uh, this year I'm carrying the, we got to shut that damn program off that keeps consuming all my resources on my server. Okay. <laughs> you put the fear of Derek in you. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, but it's called the OG, the original gangster. It's one of their. What he did is he took the molds from the original glasses from like back in the fifties. Okay. And so I think he took one of the glasses, made a mold, because you can't get the mold anymore. It's from yeah, China sure someplace. It's done. Yeah. Um, nice. Yeah. So that's the original gangster. Pick that up. Use summer for fun. Coupon code save twenty percent off at awesomedrinks.com, and that's a good time. Also, I would suggest making the drink because it's an experience if you can get all the ingredients. And what I have learned, having done a lot of drinks during the winter to now, for some reason it's just started to click, is tiki's aren't actually expensive to build. Like, yeah, there's a weird archaic ingredients, but like right. when you look at the- But you're the not using a lot of any of them. Right? No, and rum is super cheap compared to like a good bourbon. So when you're doing it like whiskey take sours- long age, right? It's, right. A, it's aging in human environments. And, and like a, a four, a, year four old, years. Four year old rum, Ages like a twelve year old scotch, right? right? And this is like a, a two to or a four year old or something like that uh, year old rum. This one's probably even older, so you're getting a lot more age for a lot less price. Obviously, uh, Pernod is probably the cheapest of the different absinthe that right. you could get. But when you're looking at all the other cocktails, but with you're gins, using this by the drop. This isn't something you use by the ounce right. unless you're an absinthe fan, years. right? So yeah, every year for tiki months and stuff. Sometimes you, you put it in an atomizer and you spray a glass with it, right? Yeah. You could have done yeah. that. Ooh. I got a bunch of atomizers at home. I, I think I do. Yeah. I have some out in the shop, oh, out in the garage out there, I think. We'll use those. Next time. Hey, Next did you time. see our shit? I did. I saw the post that I saw when I was pulling up. Oh, yeah. But I didn't step out to inspect because I didn't want to move more than I had to. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, so, 
all I'll put the tiki all tiki gla- tiki recipes on the sidebar for all the ones we've done in the past, and I'll add this into the master playlist so you have it as a new option. But we have plenty of tiki to go through, so start clicking. Uh, down below is the bartender starter kit at AustinDrinks.com. You can use that coupon code to also save twenty percent on that thing when you get your glasses and all the other stuff. So that's it. Teach you how to drink. Say, uh, coupon code. Yeah, I said it. Did you say Summer that? Summer for fun. See right there. Okay, my brain's fucked up. <laughs>